Hello my beautiful friends, thank you so so much for joining me on my channel today. In this video, I'm going to be doing this gorgeous, almost monochromatic purple eye makeup. I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup look because it's pretty simple to get. And I wanted to apologize to all my subscribers because I have not been able to post as I had promised because of this horrible strep throat and cold that I have got. I'm trying my best to speak clearly in this video. So please excuse my gruffy voice for today's video and oh by the way let me know in the comments down below if what you would like to see next or if you try this look definitely tag me I would love to see your recreation. Without further ado let's just get started. So I have only moisturizer on my face and for my eye makeup base I'm using Max Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now this is the first time using a MAC Paint Pot and I think I should have applied with a brush rather than a finger. For the eyes, I'm taking Huda Beauty's Desert Dusk Palette and I'm taking that Desert Sand shade just to set the entire paint pot on my eye. Actually, paint pot dries pretty quickly so I had to work really fast but I just like a clean canvas that's why I use that lighter shade. Now I'm taking the shade Eden and I'm just building up my crease. This is like a light peachy color. It didn't really show up. I don't think I should have even used this because you will see with purples it just disappears so it was kind of pointless for me to do this step but I'm showing it to you all anyway that I did it. I'm taking this beautiful pinky purple color from NYX's Essential Palette onto a fluffy brush and just building onto my crease. Just go in circular and windshield wiper motions with that fluffy brush. I'm just going to take some more of that pinky purple and just build my crease very nicely. And I'm going into that shade called Amethyst from the Huda Beauty Palette. Please don't hate me for using two palettes because I feel the Huda Beauty kinda didn't have a gradient version for the purple color so I had to use the NYX's palette. So with this semi flat blending brush I'm just applying the eyeshadow at the outer corner as well as the crease and then I took a more precise pointy pencil brush to get right into the outer corner with that same amethyst purple color. I had an ultraviolet theme in my mind but I don't think this is exactly ultraviolet it's just more leaning towards purple. Uh, then I'm taking some more of that pinky purple and just blending and blending. There's a lot of steps that I'll repeat as usual in eyeshadow because I really like to blend my eyeshadows properly. Now I'm taking some of that amethyst color into the crease, directly into the crease just to intensify that pinky purple a bit more. And then I took the same fluffy brush without any product and I'm just blending everything. Then taking Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer in Sand Sables. I'm going to cut my crease with that concealer so that the next shade that I'm going to apply, I want it to pop. So uh, I took a little bit of time while cutting the crease because I wasn't really good at it. It's been a long time since I did a nice cut crease. Then taking the shade Twilight. Now the mistake that I did is that not applying this with the finger because it's that duochrome kind of color which is like sort of hard to build up once when you apply it with the dry brush. So what I did is I took a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC and wet my brush and then used it. That showed better intensity. Like you can see I'm finding it a little difficult to maintain the intensity of Twilight. Then I added some more of that amethyst color with the pencil brush just to uh, mix it with that duochrome just to create that nice gradient that we like. Now I'm just building up the outer corner. Now I kind of found these two shades like especially the shade amethyst a little difficult to build up because I had to apply a lot of it to get the intensity and I think Huda Beauty for the price I'm not really happy with that eyeshadow because this palette the desert dusk palette I solely wore it for those two shades that is amethyst and twilight because those purples I found are very very unique now let me get this I was really I'm really happy with the other shades that, that are there in the palette but the amethyst color was especially difficult to blend and for the price I'm pretty sure the eyeshadow should have been a little bit better quality because I'm kind of getting used to Makeup Revolution's super smooth buttery eyeshadows that blend quickly. Then I'm taking Makeup Revolution's Soft X Highlighter Palette. Now Soft X Highlighter Palette is something uh, Makeup Revolution launched with one of their YouTubers called Sophie and this is the highlighter palette which is amazing. I had just newly got it and it's just so beautiful. I added that tiny bit of that lilac color in the inner corners. I did my liner with a Clinique pen liner and freshed my face with some Fix Plus and then I'm using Max Primer 
uh, prep and prime for the face this is a really beautiful primer i got it as a sample and it was just amazing i'm going to buy a full size definitely for the glow of the face i'm taking max stroke cream for all the highlight and for my foundation i'm using max studio fix fluid in nc40 i added few drops of clinique's turnaround uh, revitalizing oil just three oil drops i think i added and i've completely forgotten to put my concealer like you can see like i've totally forgotten then i took this uh, max pro long wear concealer in nc42 and with the same foundation brush i'm applying because i couldn't find my concealer brush so i just took it and i applied wherever i needed some concealing and i just went around the mouth area the nose the under eyes just that's it and i blended it out with this mini beauty blender Back onto our foundation, I'm just going to apply with the stippling brush first, sorry the flat brush and then I'm going to be blending it out with the beauty blender because this brush was not exactly giving me the finish that I wanted. So I just took my big beauty blender and I just started blending everything out. Now I really like this technique because the foundation really looks more skin like. Then I took some more of that foundation and applied on the areas where I felt I needed coverage that is the cheek area especially where my scars are but in the end my skin was looking really really nice with Studio Fix. I'm taking a tiny bit of that Pro Long Wear concealer under the eye area because I kind of feel that Pro Long Wear concealer is not as pigmented as their Studio finish concealer because that's more creamy in texture while this one's more liquidy is what I feel so just tiny bit to cover everything nicely make us camera ready uh, and then I'm taking Maybelline's Fit Me concealer in sand sable and I'm just highlighting the areas this is like my most favorite part I always enjoy putting the concealer like that because my the glow is just amazing after the whole setting like it just brings the light to the center of your face and I'll just blend that out with my mini beauty blender again. I'm taking NYX's HD Finishing Powder in Banana just to set all the concealer that I've applied. Now this helps in bringing the extra light to the face but what I'm doing is I'm just going in a dabbing motion it's like semi-baking is what I like to call because I'll be dusting it off with this NYX hashtag no filter powder in medium olive and I'm going to use that to set my entire face and dust off that excess banana powder. Now this powder hashtag no filter powder is just amazing. It doesn't make my face look cakey or anything. Just very light dusting with the tulip shaped brush like it goes in dabbing motion as well as dusting off so you, you're not left with too much product on the face like you can see it's just what it's required. For mascara I'm taking Sugar Cosmetics mascara in this black color and I'm really loving this mascara because the formula is really nice and thick and it doesn't cause any clumps so I can coat each and every eyelash of mine. Then I'm taking Maybelline's Colossal Kajal in super black and I'm just using it in the outer water line and I won't be dragging it all the way inward tight lining my upper lash line as well then I took some tiny bit of amethyst color on this smudging brush and I'm just smudging out the kajal on the lash line I'm not again going to be dragging that all the way inside because I want my inner corners to be very highlighted I'm just taking that fluffy brush and again just blending out the harsh lines for my contour, I'm taking Sugar Cosmetics Contour de Force Subtle Summit and in that brown shade which is like the exact color for any medium olive skin tone girl because it has the tones of olive. I'm really enjoying this contour color these days you guys. You should definitely give it a try. It's really amazing. Like it looks like a natural contour without harsh contour you know. If you like harsh contouring you might not like it but I really enjoy the subtle contour that it gives to the face. And I also contoured my nose. Now taking that same lilac color from Sofex palette of Makeup Revolution, I'm highlighting the inner corners. Then I took this Dyna of London's Nude Eye Pencil and just applied it on the waterline and inner tear duct of my eyes. And again went over with the Sofex lilac highlighter. 
then I'm taking these two shades, the pinky and the gold color, like a light shimmer gold. It's not that harsh gold color for the subtle highlight that I wanted. But it just gave me that beautiful glow, almost blinding, I would say. I'm very happy with this highlighter palette and it's a beautiful palette. I kind of like it probably a little bit more than my Makeup Revolutions Ultra Pro Glow. For my blush, I'm taking Desert Rose Blush. And this, again, has that hues of mauve and pinky purple nest to it I feel to set my face I'm taking makeup revolutions pro fix spray and I'm going to be setting my entire face for the lips I'm taking NYX's mauve lip liner and applying that all over my lips just to give it a nice base for the lipstick just creating my cupid's bow and everything I really love this NYX's mauve lip pencils it's supposed to be a dupe for max world lip pencil for lipstick, I'm taking Max Twig, which is in satin finish. It's almost semi-matte, you can say, but without being that dry matte lipstick. I really like how it looks. It's got those mauve purple tones, which go very well with the eyes. And this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Do share it with your friends or anybody who might find this useful. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you did enjoy. And... Thank you so so much once again for sticking with me till the end. Hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye. Take care.